The Nevada Division of Minerals was established in 1987. The mission of the division is to encourage and assist in the responsible exploration for and the production of minerals, oil, gas, and geothermal energy, which are economically beneficial to the state, to provide for public safety by identifying, ranking, and securing dangerous conditions at mines that are no longer operating, and collecting and disseminating information on mineral exploration, production, and related topics. This presentation will be a brief overview of the division and the resources we have available to the public. The Division of Minerals is a state agency and is part of the Commission on Mineral Resources, which is comprised of seven members, all appointed by the governor. We have 11 employees in total, occupying two offices, one located at Carson City and one in Las Vegas. Virtually all sources of funding for the division are from fees and assessments on the various mineral industries, with some additional revenue from federal grants. There are no state general funds in the division's budget. The division is responsible for permitting, inspecting, and monitoring all oil, gas, and geothermal drilling activities on both public and private lands in Nevada. Staff also monitors production of oil, gas, and geothermal resources to ensure proper management. Nevada is a member of the Interstate Oil and Gas Compact Commission. The Division's Abandoned Mine Lands Program provides for public safety by identifying and ranking dangerous conditions at mines that are no longer operating and by securing dangerous orphan mine openings. The program continually urges the public to recognize and avoid hazardous abandoned mines. The division is involved in a wide array of activities relating to mineral development. Staff compiles annual data on all active mines in Nevada and maintains the state's mine registry. Information concerning mining operations and production is made available to the public through a yearly publication. Educational documents and materials concerning many aspects of the minerals industry are also produced or funded by the division. The division participates in governmental activities affecting policies and laws concerning the minerals industry and resource development. The division administers the state's reclamation bond pool for explorationists and small operators. The dissemination of data is accomplished by presentations given to the public, civic groups, professional organizations, and K-12 classrooms, along with our main website and open data site webpage. This is our homepage, located at www.minerals.nv.gov. The ribbon across the top can be utilized to view information about the division and the commission, access our various programs pages, view recent news posts as they relate to the mining and minerals industry, view our facts page, and for contact information. Our current information section includes links to topics affecting industry, information on annual reclamation awards, a link to our distance learning videos, our recent presentation section, and information related to proposed land use plans and withdrawals. This is the view of the programs page, which has links to all individual program pages. Each page contains a general program overview, links to pertinent information, forms, and publications for each program, along with program contacts, links to program statutes and or regulations, and other important useful links. Any special announcements, public workshops and hearings, or employment opportunities are posted further down on the home page. Towards the bottom of the page, we have a section containing important links for the Nevada Division of Minerals. We will now review the Nevada Division of Minerals open data site. This is the homepage of the open data site. The URL is listed at the top. 
the homepage is equipped with our mission statement and disclaimer. If you scroll down, you will come to a listing of all the pages that are available within the open data site. Each page has an interactive web map. The main interactive web map template we utilize has buttons to display the legend, turn layers on and off, a select data tool, a plot or navigate to XY tool. Under the other widgets button, there is a filter tool along with a tool which allows for the user to add their own data, a measure distance or area tool, the ability to change the base map, a print function, and a search by location or by features in the map layers. Most of the layers included in the maps have pop-ups associated with them. In this map, a mining district has been selected and this is the pop-up that appears with links to other external websites and patented claim maps. In this map, a mining claim point has been selected, and this is the pop-up that appears that not only displays important information about the claim, but also links to other external BLM queries and an automated BLM land status search link for that township. Pop-ups have also been utilized to display data in a more user-friendly fashion, like this pop-up, which has been configured to display historic mineral production data in Nevada. Along with this pop-up, which displays electrical power generation for Nevada geothermal plants. Now, let's briefly review the pages. Lithium exploration in Nevada has drastically increased in the past several years, which resulted in the establishment of the Division's Dissolved Mineral Resources Exploration Program, or DMRE. The Inferred Lithium Placer Claims page hosts a map dedicated to displaying the active inferred Nevada Lithium Placer Claim listings along with the DMRE map. The DMRE map is to be utilized in order to determine if a proposed dissolved mineral resource exploration well is located within a boundary designated by the division as an area with limitations pursuant to NAC 534B. All data is available for download under the respective maps in which the data is utilized. Mining has played a significant role in Nevada's history and continues to be a major contributor to Nevada's economy. Over 1 million mining claims have been located in the state since the mining law of 1872 was passed. The Nevada Mining Claims listing page serves to spatially display sections with active mining claims and information on individual mining claim listings. Mining claim data is pulled at least three times per year. The map also serves to provide data layers needed to perform land research, such as links to mining district mineral connection sheets and links to individual county information, such as maps and assessment or recording offices. Data is also available for download under the map, as is a document detailing land research methodology and resources. The Nevada Claims, Notices, and Plans of Operations page. This page was constructed to provide more data to those investigating existing mineral properties in the state of Nevada. There is an enormous amount of data on this map, including current and historic mining claims, notices, and plans of operation. Not all of which is displayed in the map by default as drawing speeds of the interactive map would be severely impaired. There are almost 2 million points present in this map. In order to view the data, you must turn the desired layer on from the layers list. The table of contents will only show layers that are turned on and that can be viewed in the current extent. The Nevada Mineral Producers Commodities and Occurrence page. 
The purpose of this page is to present current active mines and production data for the state of Nevada. This page is also intended to give the user the ability to see where mineral commodities and occurrences have been documented. In the first map, we can see mining districts are labeled by commodity. By clicking within the outline of a mining district, the viewer will be linked to other informational sources. Active mines are presented in this map as well. The pop-up will be reviewed shortly. The second and third web map applications focus on known deposits or occurrences of critical minerals in Nevada. The first map uses the web application template discussed previously, and the second map is a web mapping application which will compare current and historic data with respect to mining districts with known deposits or occurrences of critical minerals. The fourth map shown on this page is the Historic Mineral Production in Nevada interactive web application. This web map uses an interactive legend where the viewer can turn items on and off utilizing the legend itself. Pop-ups exist and function the same within this application as previously discussed. Land Issues this section of the Nevada Division of Minerals Open Data Site is dedicated to providing information on public land issues in Nevada. Pages may include presentations, charts, and images, which the viewer is welcome to download and utilize with proper credit sourcing. Current land issues include historic mining districts versus land withdrawals, greater sage-grouse habitat management areas, the Fallon Training Range Complex Modernization, and Wilderness and Wilderness Study Areas. Again, all data is downloadable on each respective page. Mining in Nevada. The purpose of this page is to present general information on the mining industry in Nevada from exploration to production, its regulatory oversight, as well as its economic impacts and environmental stewardship. With a large and diverse mineral endowment, Nevada ranks number one in U.S. mineral production, yet even today, most people are surprised at the complexity and innovation involved in the process of modern mineral extraction and how commonplace and necessary these minerals are to society. Information on this page is intended to educate people on the topics of exploration, permitting, surface disturbance, employment, production, economics, and reclamation. The Nevada Oil, Gas, and Geothermal page. This page is dedicated to providing data reported to the Division on Oil, Gas, and Geothermal well information along with production and injection data. Electrical production from geothermal power plants is also presented in the map. Data is downloadable in several formats, including shapefiles, KML files, and Excel files. And last, but certainly not least, the Education and Outreach page. As part of our mission statement, collecting and disseminating information on mineral exploration, production, and related topics, the Nevada Division of Minerals participates in biannual teachers' workshops with the Nevada Mining Association's Education Committee. We provide standards-based earth science lessons that reinforce the value of mining and the many uses of the minerals in our daily lives. Participants are exposed to many facets of the minerals industry through hands-on activities and tours. The interactive map available on this page allows viewers to select various active mines in Nevada, view what they produce, employment, and some everyday uses of the commodity produced. The education page also houses our educational videos which cover a variety of topics including mining in Nevada, minerals education, mineral identification, erosion, fossils, and much more. Most of our videos have an associated activity for the classroom or for the interested person to complete and have become very popular as distance learning resources. 
Towards the bottom of the page, viewers can access many story maps, such as the Abandoned Minelands Program Story Map or story maps of tours that have been created for our teachers' workshops. Before we conclude this overview, I would like to point out a few other important links on the home page of our Open Data site. First, if you would like a more detailed overview on the Open Data site that includes demonstrations on how to use the various features, click on the link indicated by the blue arrow. Second, I would like to point out our data gallery. This is the one-stop shop for viewers to download our data. Above the listing of pages available on our Open Data site is the link to the data gallery. If we click on the link indicated by the black arrow, we will be redirected to this page where a simple click will take the user to available download options. Under the website page listing, there is a section for the Nevada Mineral Explorer. This interactive web mapping application was developed as a tool for explorationists to help identify and discover mineral resources throughout Nevada. Data in this interactive web map are sourced from the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology, the Nevada Division of Minerals, the U.S. Geological Survey, and the BLM, along with other federal agencies. The viewer is encouraged to review the video tutorial provided to learn how to navigate and work within the web app. We would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this brief overview on the Nevada Division of Minerals. Feel free to contact us with any questions you may have.